let us solve differential equation which is called separable differential equation which is of the form y prime equals h of x times g of y now how do we solve this so these are the steps and I'm going to uh, show an example in solving how do we execute these steps the very first step the step one is write down the differential equation in this form which is y prime equals h of x times g of y if the differential equation is not already in that form you need to convert this or in other words which is also uh, <clears throat> can be written in the form of dy over dx equals h of x times g of y i think this would be most useful <coughs> in solving it now what is the step two step two would be once we do that then we are going to take we are going to rewrite the differential equation in the following form which is we are going to group all the y's on one side and we are going to group all the x on the other side how do i do that so i have dy then i'm going to bring the g of y this side which is going to be one over g of y and is equal to h of x times dx right this is a very important crucial step once we do that then the next step which is the step 3 would be integrate right so how if integrating both sides so which means we're going to have something like this the integral of dy over g of y equals integral of h of x times dx and then we then the next step would be to simplify this differential uh, the solution to this differential equation which would be of the form some sort of a um, <coughs> function f of x comma y is going to be equal to this arbitrary constant if an initial value is given then we can figure out what this constant would be but if the initial value is not given we can leave as is and that's how we solve variable separable method now let's take a look at an example in solving this variable separable method <clears throat> so let's take a look at this example one a very simple example which would be <clears throat> y prime plus x over y equals zero right <clears throat> so there is no initial condition given this is just a differential equation let's see how do we solve this so I'm going to do the step one if you remember if you recall our step one step one is to make sure that the differential equation is <clears throat> written in this form right so let's see let's do that let's see how do we do that so if I do that then you see that I have dy over dx equals negative x over y <clears throat> now we are going to step two the step two would be to group all the similar variables in <clears throat> one side so now this is our step two which is, is going to be something like this, right? Which is what we are going to do now. Now, what I, how would I do that? So if I simplify this, you agree that I'm going to have y times dy on one side. On the other side, I'm going to have x dx. Now, the step three is very simple. It's just integrating. So if I integrate both sides, I'm going to have integral of y dy equals negative uh, integral of x dx now this is a very simple integration and if you integrate that we are going to have y squared over 2 equals negative x squared over 2 plus that arbitrary constant right there and now if i further simplify then i can simplify this into x squared over 2 plus y squared over 2 equals c where c is the arbitrary constant c is the 
uh, c is an arbitrary constant right and that's how we solve this very simple differential equation if you really want to you can take it to the next uh, step which you can just say which simplifies into x squared plus y squared equals 2c or even if you want you can rewrite it this in the following form of x squared plus y squared equals c1 where c1 equals 2c and this would be the solution to the differential equation that is given to us and that's how we solve the, the separable differential equation using variable separable method.